Hi everyone, uh, I'll explain problem B very quickly. So, the problem uh, states that there are two people and they are playing a tennis game. So, there's, there's a person named uh, Alice and a pers person named Bob and they are playing a tennis tournament and the idea is that suppose they, they, are, they are playing let's say total five games, right? I'll explain how like how, how is the game happening so either Alice will start first or either Bob will start first so if Alice starts first she will take the first serve regardless of whether she wins or lose Bob will take the second serve Alice will take the third serve Bob will take the fourth and then fifth or Bob can start first then Alice and Bob can Alice Now they have defined a terminology known as breaks. So break is simply if Alice is Alice is serving and Bob wins. If Alice loses, then it's a break. Fine. Very quickly, I'm just explaining you know, all the game uh, and the term terminology works. For the games, there are two people. Either one can start and then they will serve alternatively. If suppose it's my turn and the other player wins in my serve, then it's called a break. Fine. And you have to find what are all the possible ways a break can happen. Now, how many total breaks can happen basically? Not with possible ways, how many breaks can happen? For example, uh, let, let's, let's just take this scenario. Um, they play a series of... Now, what is given here? Yeah, okay, so... In the question, it's given that Alice wins A games and Bob wins B games. So total number of games that they play are A plus B. Okay. Uh, I, I'll just take a sample diff case. Let's take uh, this one. Fine. So Alice plays two games. Uh, like they play total three games, but Alice wins two and Bob wins one. So, first of all, and you have to find what are to, the ways that breaks can happen. So, there are two cases. First of all, Alice would have served first. So, it would, like the order of serving would have been Alice, Bob, Alice. Okay. Now, here, if Alice is winning two games, that means this is the order of serving. Forget about this. And, like, suppose this is the order of win. So, Alice can win something like two games here and lose one here. So this means that the first game Alice serves and Alice wins. So it's not a break. But the next time Bob serves but Alice wins. So it's a break. Similarly, this is also a break. Okay. And um, another case could have been Alice, Bob, Alice. So in this case, like if this was the order of serving, and this was the order of winning then that means that there are basically no breaks in this case I guess uh, like you have zero as one of the answers you also have two like I said and uh, it also depends like if you take the other case around if you know maybe Bob serve first so if the serving order is Bob Alice Bob and um, the winning order is uh, let's say Alice Alice Bob Mm, then here only one break is happening here okay how do we solve it very simple for Alice you are given the number of games that she wins for Bob you are given the number of games he wins so there are two cases first case is where Alice serves first so it would be I will represent Alice as 0 and Bob as 1 okay for some reason so suppose they are playing a total of uh, six or seven let's say n games so the first type is the serving order could be alice then bob can serve then alice can serve then bob can serve then alice can serve and the num the, the length of this string or whatever would be a plus b and you, you should try to figure out for the second case it would be one zero one zero, that bob serves first and now no, no. When would a break occur? Two cases. Alice 
you know wins this is a serving order if the winning order has a zero here then this would be a break or the winning has you know something like a one here then it would be a break okay so what you need to iterate through is the number of ones in this string where alice is winning suppose you say that okay there are three ones there are like basically four ones and all on those four ones only one one is there where alice is winning the rest of the ones are where basically bob is winning obviously if alice is winning on only one of these serving ones then bob would win on all the rest right so the idea is very simple um, you would iterate um in the first case okay you have to figure out for the second yourself i'll just give the hint for this it's basically the complete opposite so you iterate over the number of ones okay so like in this case you first calculate okay what would be the number of ones that depends on the serving order in this case uh, if there are eight games like a plus b is eight for this example then there would be four ones it could very well change if the see if the number of serves are even then the number of zero the number of ones would be same otherwise the number of zeros could be greater than by number of ones by one so iterate over the number of ones and consider that alice wins in these many ones that means these many cases are there where bob is serving but alice is winning okay so you make basically four variables the um alice 0 alice 1 bob 0 bob alice 0 basically means uh you know how many like how many zeros are there where alice is winning alice of 1 is how many uh like how many places are there where bob is serving but alice is winning so this is very simple you are basically iterating over the number of ones or the number of serves by bob where um alice is winning so this would be i this would be a minus i since alice is winning total a games this would be the total number of ones minus a1 because uh, you know you have the total number of ones for each one either bob would be winning one basically means like i'm repeating myself one means the part where bob is serving <coughs> and this would be i think b minus b minus one right so basically uh, the number of breaks would be breaks would be a1 plus b like a1 means that bob is serving but alice is winning b0 means that alice is serving but bob is winning and you have to have some checks for example these values should not be less than 0 so a0 a1 b0 b1 should not be less than 0 so i know i've explained this in a rush but um, like this is the gist of it right the serving order is the crucial part if you understand it so you don't have to find the number of permutations you just have to find the, the total you know ways of breaking not the count in which this can happen so uh, i i just hope you have understood it uh, thank you for watching bye